Welcome to this painting tutorial. How's it going everyone? Welcome to this painting tutorial. This time I'm going to paint a Skitari Ranger for Warhammer 40k. These miniatures are pretty cool. The only thing is that they have a tons of detail and small parts. And it's uh, a little bit confusing what parts should you paint first. That's the biggest struggle I had when I tried to approach this miniature. And it's, uh, it's pretty easy overall to paint. It's just a little bit, uh, you have to be a little bit more careful and paint each area carefully not to paint on the other parts. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did it in this video. The first thing to do is to prime your model. And for this one in particular, I used black. You can use any other primer you like. I use surface primer through an airbrush and this is pretty, uh, pretty thin, pretty even coat to start the paint job. You can use any other color you want, but this is a good start. And the first color that I'm going to use is Sandry Dust. And this color, I'm going to use it on the insides of the robes. It's gonna be a little bit hard to get into the areas behind the feet, uh, but you can do it. Uh, you just need to be a little bit careful. And if you want to paint them separately and then mount it later, you can do that as well. Uh, I used to just, uh, I used to just paint them uh, once they're fully assembled, only if they have any uh, big area that you want to paint behind and that you feel is important, you can do that. But I had no troubles painting this model uh, on its own, uh, completely assembled. Make sure to thin the color down and paint a very solid coat of this color. You need at least two coats because we're going to need to use the shafty bone next and this is gonna cover over all those areas again. Uh, the previous color was just to establish a good base color to use the Shafti bone, bone on top. And this is what, I, what I'm doing now. Usually when you're painting models like this, it's a good idea to start with the areas that are more inside of the miniature, if that makes sense, and work to your way through, towards the things that are outside the miniature that will be easier to paint. And uh, that's why I'm choosing these areas in specific uh, although the model can be tricky at, at parts, uh, yeah, this is the way I decided to do it. Next, I'm going to use Mephiston Red, and with this color I'm going to paint the robe. This is a good point to do it, because uh, most of the other details are on top of the red, other than parts on the pants and stuff like that. Uh, so give it a couple coats, and make sure to get a very strong finish. If it needs three coats, go ahead, but uh, I think I did three. Uh, but uh, try to avoid brush marks and stuff like that by applying thin coats moving fast around the model Don't move the paint while it's drying or you'll create you'll create uh, Little crumbs of paint or tears on your layers. So just uh, do it quick do it clean and do multiple coats Once it's done and you have a solid coat I'm going to use dried bark and with this color I'm going to paint all of the places that are going to be brown around the model uh, which is uh, the gun uh, any wood parts, any leather parts, this is a good color to paint them. And as with all of the colors, just uh, thin it down a little bit and try to apply thin layers so it doesn't cover over those uh, details, those grooves in the gun and things like that. Next, I'm going to move on to paint the blacks and I'm going to re-establish those blacks if I paint it with other colors. I'm going to paint only the left uh, glove and the uh, pants. Also the symbol uh, of the Mechanicum on the chest of the model is going to have a portion of it in black. Uh, but try to use a fine detail brush or some uh, smallest brush that you can uh, that you have so that you clean up those places and those hard to reach places. If you paint over the Shafti bone or other places that you didn't, didn't mean to, just go back and forth and uh, paint the other color if you mispaint it somewhere. Next I'm going to use Lead Belcher and with this color I'm going to paint all of the silver parts of this model which is the most prominent color in this model and it's a little bit odd to paint it at last, at the last of the steps uh, but uh, most of these parts can be painted at the very end because they're mostly on top of other things other than the feet uh, so it's going to be not that hard to cover these areas. I'm going to use a fine uh, a detail brush to paint these areas uh, without painting on the other parts and it's gonna take a little bit more time than it would if you painted the whole thing silver and then painted the other parts uh, but I think this is the way I would do it uh, and have a cleaner paint job quicker. Thin down your paints, thin down the metallics well because they become tacky really fast 
and if you thin them too much the flakes won't cover very well they'll float around all of the other parts on the model just use a little bit of water make sure there's not tack tacky and then just uh, paint over these areas Next I'm going to paint the gold and for that I'm going to use Balthazar Gold. Make sure to shake this color well because it separates. All of the colors do that, so shake all of your colors, uh, but metallics specifically separate very badly. And use a small detail brush so that you can paint all of those small details in gold. You can pick any areas that you want, I'm just going to go based on what you see on the box and paint those areas. Next I'm going to paint the paper on the purity seals, for that I'm going to use sandry dust again and it's going to be painted almost the exact same way as the insides of the robe. Uh, just paint these areas really quickly, make sure to have a thin paint and base coat them. Next I need to paint the wax on those purity seals and for that I'm going to use screamer pink. We need a different color, usually this wax is red. But because the robe is red, we need a different color. I'm going to use this Screamer Pink and it's going to be just a base coat, just as with all of the other places. Next, I'm going to paint the Mechanicum symbol on the chest of this model. Just be very careful to use a very fine brush and just pick these areas carefully because you need to paint half of the gear behind the skull and half of the other side on the skull so that you get this uh, effect and uh, make sure to have thin paint and a very fine brush be very careful to paint these areas once that's done most of the hard work on this model is finished so i'm going to do the fun part which is washing i'm going to use norm oil shade and use it on only the silver parts and the brown parts of this model. Try to avoid at all cost to paint on the bone areas inside the robe and the parchment. We are going to shade them those differently and just do it quickly and make sure to shake the wash before you use it and use a small brush so that you have control over it. Once that's done, I'm going to use Agrax Earth Shade, and with this color, I'm going to shade all of the gold and the parchment on the purity seals. Uh, on the robe, where I'm going to try to only paint those uh, recesses that are very deep on the creases and uh, in between the uh, metallic areas and the red, for example. Uh, just try to get those creases with a little bit of this shade. And on the inside of the robe, I'm going to try to not. Uh, shade at all unless there is a separation between one color and the other that is easy to reach uh, just to create this separation color between one color and the other but for the most part leave it alone once that's done you can stop this is a good point to leave your models as a tabletop standard but i'm going to uh, highlight all of these areas next i'm going to use evil sun scarlet to start highlighting the robe and this is going to need at least four very thin coats of this color to get a, a nice opacity. This is going to go over all of the red, just leaving the places that are in darkness in the previous color. Just try to apply thin layers and bring up this uh, red color on the robe and leave uh, some of the places that are on the shades or on the folds on the previous color. Once that's done, you should have a much brighter red, and I'm going to finish this color up with a Wild Rider Red. This is going to be a niche highlight on all those hard edges of the robe. Uh, just try to use the edge of the brush when you can. You can uh, freehand in some areas, but uh, try to uh, paint those hard edges and those uh, the top of those folds with this color. Next, I'm going to use Steel Legion Drab, and with this color, I'm going to pick the edges of the brown you can leave them as they are but if you want to itch highlight them like i do i'm going to use this color and it's the same as in the robe just in the brown next i'm going to highlight the blacks and for that i'm going to use dark reaper this is, i'm going to use blues to highlight the black and this is going to create a very cool looking black which looks pretty cool and it's going to contrast with the warm uh, bone and red and um, just to make paint those uh, edges and those uh, folds on the fabric just uh, make sure to pick those up and that's it 
I'm going to try to pop those blacks a little bit more with Fenrish and Grey and this is going to go over all of the places that we already painted but just the smaller area and the most brightest parts of these um, black areas. Very quick, very careful and use a small detail brush. Once it's done, I'm going to use Ulthuan Grey and with this color I'm going to paint all of the white parts of the miniature that I want to be white. And this is enough white, a little bit blue. And I'm going to paint over those uh, celestial gray areas on the symbol on the chest. Being careful just to leave a little bit of the wash color on the recesses. Next, I'm going to repaint the silver, just those uh, bigger areas, just to bring back the shine of the metallic that maybe was lost with the wash. And this is going to be helpful to get, to get a very shiny uh, silver instead of a very dark uh, matte looking uh, silver that is going to be have very harsh edges once you, once we do the edge highlighting uh, just uh, clean out these places try to avoid all of the recesses and bring this shine a little bit more back once that's done I'm going to use uh, storm host silver and this is going to go on all of the edges of the silver this step doesn't take as long as you might think. These uh, edges are very easy to pick up and uh, it's gonna make the silver stand out a lot more. And because we're going to for a cleaner uh, silver, um, I didn't use any Agrax Earthshade or any browns or uh, colors that might suggest that the Mechanicum uh, looks a little bit uh, dirty or anything. Because I, in my mind, these guys take pride and they take care of their uh, new mechanical uh, bodies. I think this is a very important, uh, depending on the lore, but I think this looks good. Once it's done, I'm going to do the same thing for the gold. This is going to be bronze, actually. I'm going to use bright bronze from Game Color and a fine detail brush, just pick those edges very quickly. And that's it. Next, I'm going to use Ushafti Bone and with this color, I'm going to paint the areas on the parchment of the purity seals and leave a little bit of the other color behind on the deepest recesses and folds and I just uh, try to bring this color back. This is a good point, you can go back on the robe and clean those places where you may have uh, painted over that you didn't want uh, and uh, make a cleaner edge on those inside parts of the robe. I'm going to use Screaming Skull next and this is going to go over the edges of the parchment and the insides of the robe as well, just on the very edges though, not in the whole part. I just try to pick those edges with this color and it's going to make them brighter. Once that's done, I'm going to highlight the purity seals and I'm going to paint the wax with pink horror and leave the recesses on the previous color. Uh, just paint those raised areas with this color very quickly and that's it. Once it's done, I'm going to use another color on the pink, which is Emperor's Children. And this is going to go on the sharpest places on the purity seals just to bring a little bit more color and a little bit more attention to that pink and make it stand out. Once that's done, I'm going to use Temple Guard Blue and with this color, I'm going to paint all of the lenses and little lights around the model, which includes the, the lenses on the face and uh, the little uh, light on his uh, backpack there. I don't know how it's called, uh, but any other details that you want to paint this uh, color just as a glowing light, you can paint it with, with Temple Guard Blue. Be very careful not to paint on other parts. If you do, you can clean up with uh, the silver and a little bit of the known oil wash just to bring back those colors as they were before and with blue horror i'm going to highlight these places on the lights on the circular protruding lights and i'm going to just paint a little dot in the very center to make it look like it's glowing and on the lenses on the face i'm going to make a small lines on the bottom parts of the lens and that's enough Next, I'm going to highlight the places that are going to be white on this model, which is uh, just this Mechanicum symbol on his chest. For that, I'm using Vallejo model color white and just paint the edges of the symbol and make it stand out a little bit more with this color. And this is the finished model. 
I have to say I had a lot of fun painting this model. I had a little bit of uh, doubts when approaching this uh, model and which parts should I paint first. I think this is the right way for me to go and I hope to f uh, listen to your opinions in the comments below. Uh, overall it's an easy color scheme, you just have to jump and do it. And um, the only difficult part is this has a lot of small detail and you need your small detail brush for most of it. Only the robe and big places like that are you are allowed to paint with bigger brushes. Although you can paint this model with only just a small detail brush. So this is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it entertaining and helpful. And if you can, please like the video, comment on it and subscribe to the channel to see more videos. This helps me out a lot. Uh, it helps me spread the word about the channel and make it a little bit more successful. So thank you very much if you do that. There's also a Patreon page where you can uh, donate uh, a month if you want uh, to help me out and get more materials. Get me get paid for what I'm do doing here in YouTube and uh, that's it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much for watching. You stayed great. Thank you very much for supporting my channel and if you would like to become a patron there is a link to my patreon page in the description below your contributions help pay for my work and keeps the channel going a single dollar a month is more than enough and you can cancel at any time if you can't don't worry you can support my channel by simply watching my videos and sharing them with your friends thank you for watching have a great day and i'll see you on the next one